Hi, I'm Pamela Morgan from Pamela Morgan Lifestyle and Flirting with Flavors. And today I'm gonna to make a cold white gazpacho soup. White gazpacho is a great soup to make because it's really, really unique. And I love making cold soups for dinner parties or just for dinner at home with my husband. And then we have a soup and salad night. It's very refreshing. It's very healthy. So I wanna show you all these ingredients. You would not think that all of these go together, but they do in the blender or your Vitamix. And they make this very unique soup. I know we're all used to making red gazpacho with all of those green and red vegetables that we have in our gardens in the summer, but you're gonna love this one. So let me show you how to make it and stick around because I'm also gonna show you how to garnish it with a very special ingredient. Let's get started. Okay, first I'm gonna get out my Vitamix. And this is, I've told you this before, but this is just a piece of equipment that is a must when you have, um, when you're furnishing your kitchen. So first we're gonna start the soup by putting in these slivered almonds and putting those right into the mixer. And then also I have some garlic here. And the recipe calls for raw garlic, but for me, I can't really digest raw garlic these days, so I roasted mine. And then I'm also putting in some salt. And all of these ingredients we're gonna put in the recipe, so make sure if you wanna make the soup, we are gonna give you the exact ingredients. So first this gets blended up, and it makes kind of a paste. here. So the bread has been sitting in chicken stock and it's nice and soft. So that goes in. And then I'm going to bring that up. soup is beginning to happen here. Now I'm adding in these cucumbers here. And actually what I did was I took the seeds out. So here is like a cucumber with seeds in it. And really all you have to do is you just take your knife here and go all the way down to the end to de-seed it like that and then slice it up and then throw it right into the blender. And these are already chopped up and de-seeded. So I'm gonna put these in, there we go. And I'm gonna add in these sweet grapes. Now, this is so unusual, cucumbers, grapes, almonds. You wouldn't think they would taste good together, but the grapes sweeten it. The almonds give it this unusual nutty consistency, and then the bread adds a thickness to it. So let's blend that up. Our soup is almost done, except I want to add a little bit of acid. So I have some apple cider vinegar. You could also add sherry vinegar, which is more typical. I'm going to add one tablespoon and then I'm going to taste it. I'm going to see whether it has enough vinegar in it. And if not, I'll add a little more. how good that is. It's just delicious. I'm going to add just a tiny bit more vinegar. And then last but not least, I'm going to add some extra virgin olive oil. And this will make the soup really silky and sensual. So let me add this in. 
And I'm gonna blend it up one more time. I'm gonna taste it also to see whether it might need a little bit more salt. perfect and I, I love the color of it too it's sort of a light green color and I have this beautiful bowl I'm just going to pour it into my bowl now pretend that this soup chilled for a while by the way and then I'm gonna garnish it with a little bit of cucumber chopped up And I like to have some texture in it, so the cucumber will give it that, as well as some toasted almonds. And then what I love is I just went out to my garden today and I picked this beautiful nasturtium flower. And I'm gonna put that right on the top, like that. And there we have our white gazpacho soup. Now, isn't this perfect for a dinner party? I hope you'll make it. Let me know your comments and enjoy. <laughs> 